What's up, everybody? Welcome to the latest bonus episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, but most importantly, the latest episode of Rewind Rumble just dropped, Dio vs. Alucard. You don't want to miss it, so if you haven't seen it yet, you should watch that first, then watch this second, because that's priority number one, as this channel is now priority number two. But if you have seen that and you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. And yes, I know technically the title says Ultimate Race, but this episode episode is more of a fight because let's be honest here, if we were to showcase a race of everyone just running or driving, it wouldn't exactly be that much fun. It technically is a race in a sense that everyone thematically is a speed themed character. Speaking of characters, let's go over the roster for this episode. We have the likes of Game Sonic, Barry Allen Flash, Dash, Rainbow Dash, Lightning McQueen, Quicksilver, Roadrunner, and Sash Lilac. Now of course this is a bonus episode and a lot of the characters on this roster except for three have been in previous Cartoon Fight Club episodes. If you want to learn more about them, you can go watch the older stuff, but I do not want to waste your time. So let's do a quick pre-analysis for the three new characters and we could get on with the speed style fighting. Dashiel Robert Dash Parr is son of the great Bob Parr, aka Mr. Incredible. He comes from a family of incredible superheroes, each hero specializing in their own power. Dash of course has super speed. Dash is only 10 years old, so he is is likely to get faster as he grows, but as of now at the age of 10, he is fast enough to run faster than the eye can perceive, which would clock him at around 9,000 miles per hour. Up next, we have the Roadrunner. The iconic Roadrunner spends his time in the Looney Tunes universe outrunning the likes of Wile E. Coyote. He has mild levels of Toon Force, though he is not some top tier Toon Force user like Bugs Bunny. He can still use his Toon Force to survive unrealistic amounts of damage considering he should scale to Wily e. Coyote who survived many mountain falls. The Roadrunner's top speed is unknown, but his best speed feat is running through solid stone. To run fast enough to vibrate through solid particles would mean you would have to go at least twice as fast as an Electron. Electrons can spin at 4,921,260 miles per hour. This means the Roadrunner can run roughly 10 million miles per hour, which is roughly 13,000 times the speed of sound or about 2% the speed of light. And last, but definitely least, we have Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is a My Little Pony character, so she deserves no respect. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but I'm not joking when I say there's no way she can beat Starscream in a fight, like I'm dead serious on that. Anyway, anyway, Rainbow Dash is some blue horse thing from a kid's show that can fly. Do you really want me to say anything else? If your answer is yes, then odds are you already know a ton about Rainbow Dash considering you're probably an MLP fan, so there isn't anything I can actually teach you, and if your answer is no, then obviously you don't want me to say anything more other than she's a horse thing. So either way, I'm done with this pre-analysis. What? Hey, what's going on guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And today, it's got to be done. It's just got to be done. I got to come out and do it. And if we don't like it, that's too bad. Because the facts are the facts.
just fun? Here I come! That was too easy! Now I'm serious! Serious! Ugh, that was too easy! I hope you enjoyed that animation. Special thanks to the Animation Rewind animators Chris T. Or Warrior, Jose117, Shilv, and Gabriel M. Don't forget to check out the latest Rewind Rumble, Dio vs. Alucard, and stay tuned for the post analysis. And our winner is Barry Allen Flash. For starters, he's the fastest character on this roster and by a long shot. From slowest to fastest, we have in 8th place, Lightning McQueen at 200 miles per hour. In 7th place, we have Sash Lilac at 768 miles per hour. In 6th place, we have Rainbow Dash at 3,840 miles per hour. In 5th place, we have Dash at 9,000 miles per hour. In 4th place, we have the Roadrunner at 10 million miles per hour. In third place, we have Quicksilver at 760,616,629 miles per hour. In second place, we have Game Supersonic at 193C, aka 193 times the speed of light. And in first place, we have Barry Allen, clocking at least 13 trillion times the speed of light. Keep in mind this is just base flash without considering his ability to steal slash borrow speed. When he used his speed steal ability, he was able to run faster than instant teleportation, making him omnipresent. The flash is trillions of times faster than Game Sonic, who comes in second place, making him even far faster than everyone else. When you're that much faster and can punch with the force of a white dwarf star, nothing really matters anymore. Now I do want to touch really quick on the Roadrunner's Toon Force. Yes, the Roadrunner has mild levels of Toon Force, but we can't just say the Roadrunner wins because lol Toon Force. Toon Force is a spectrum. Almost every cartoon character has some variation of Toon Force. There are top tier Toon Force users like Bugs Bunny, SpongeBob, and Mickey Mouse, and then there's a lot of bottom dwellers. The Roadrunner is towards the top, but he isn't as high as those like Bugs Bunny. I just want to make that clear. Other than that, no one is even remotely close to the Flash's speed. When you're that fast, all the other categories really kind of don't matter. That's how wide the speed gap is. Making the winner of this ultimate race, Barry Allen. Now, if you want to see a rematch with more speedsters such as Archie Sonic, Wally West, Flash, and many more, all you got to do is like this video. If this video gets 15,000, 
10,000 likes, there will be an expanded roster rematch on the Rewind Rumble channel. Speaking of Rewind Rumble, don't forget to check out Dio vs. Alucard. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas for future episodes. And stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club.